Well, I'm not. I don't know this one. Um, it's California Girls by Katy Perry featuring Snoop D O Double G. Um, let's read about it. Let's learn together. Okay, so California Girls is a song recorded by American singer Katy Perry. It served as the lead single for a third studio album, Teenage Dream, in 2010. Uh, the song features verses from rapper Snoop Dogg. The artists co-wrote the song with Bonnie McKee, and it also uh, and its co-producers Dr. Luke and Max Martin, who are pretty heavyweight dudes in the pop world. Um, with additional production from Benny Bianco, uh, according to Perry, California Girls is an answer song to Empire State of Mind. Uh, and I'm going to do that too. I've got that. I'm just going to convert it from Flack. Um, Interesting. Okay. Uh, Empire State of Mind by Jay-Z and Alicia Keys. Its mid-tempo production incorporates disco pop and funk pop with influence of, influences of new wave and electro pop. Its lyrics are an ode to the state of California uh, in which both Perry and Snoop Dogg were born and raised. So I suppose, yeah, New York sta- Empire State of Mind is, is an ode to New York. Um, oh, look, I, I'm, I don't completely not know this song, but I, I feel like Empire State of Mind might have a little bit, bit on it. But hey, you know what? It was still a massive... Um, Massive song. Go and read more on the Wikipedia about that one if you'd like to learn more uh, about that one. Um, until then, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bop on over to that uh, mix window that has a couple of tracks over there. There's 10 of them. Uh, not big, not a huge one, so it won't be a lengthy, lengthy, lengthy one today. But uh, let's go and look at an intro and then we'll see you there. <laughs> I wish they all could be California girls. As if you have never thought of that when you've seen this one. This is a 10-track um, thing oh, a 10-track session here. I actually had to, um, you can see down where the vocals are, I've had to realign those. They were just plumbed straight up to the front, and they were just out. So I had to just fix that, and it was strange. But, hey, it's done. Um, we've got a drums and a percussion track, a bass track, Guitar, strings, synth A and B, effects one, effects two, and a vocals main. Um, you can tell that these are pretty heavily compressed tracks by how large the waveforms and square they look. And I haven't even, that's what happens when I juice them up, when I just for it to view, to see them better. But they're still pretty, pretty heavily compressed, except for the strings. We might as well just take it from the drums. Um, if you want to hear the song, go and listen to it before we get through. And until then, drums time, Katie. A little bit of record scratch going on in there, which is cool. Oh, that just got beefier all of a sudden. Let's go back a little. Here it comes. There it is. It's like an extra kick drum comes in here, and look at the um, look at the angle on this decay here on these notes um that's if i juice it up that is some serious you can see sorry i'm just trailing off there's so many thoughts going through my head i can't get them all out of my mouth at once um (laughs) anyone know what adhd is uh so you can see over this part here there is a if we can see where my mouse is there's a fair bit of like crinkly you know stuff going on in here you can see a little bit of dynamic range happening um and you know it's it's there. It's it's all. There's a little bit of stuff happening in there. But when you move up to these ones here, which are like completely diagonal, it's just been like com- the compression is working harder or something like that, and it's crushing them down. But uh, yeah, they look like little pyramids. Have a listen to fish around to to the high frequencies. Look at that. When I crank that up, you can see there's a hard shelf there at like what 16, 16 and a half k. They just fully shelf that off completely. Interesting and very cool. Good beat though, huh? Mm, mm. You can do anything to that. The six percussions are about to come in, so we might as well stick them together and then listen to them on their own. Cool. Different flavor. And that's obviously going to go over those original drums. Very cool. It's sort of it's it's sort of open. It's sort of really open and very um, percussive in the top end, like little popcorny bits. But there's this note happening. Just removed it. If you got headphones on, you'll have heard that. 
this is happening still. So it's just absolutely adding another thickness element there. Um, because again, I, I I often forget this, but music is a lot of the time um, made for people who listen to things very loud. And I'm not a I'm not a loud listener of music, so it's it's strange to me that um, that even exists. But things that happen in like those sub frequencies, like you know that twenty and thirty and stuff like that. Those are coming through car speakers quite loud, and I often ignore that. So, those drums, and they, when the percussion comes in, yeah, cool, very cool. Oh, there's more happening up here. Let's skip over just a percussion track now. Let's hear that. Oh so quiet I mean when we add those drums back in but see it sits in its own little spot you can see the transients going on here if I'll adjust that up so you can see this one happens and then this one happens so boom eh, boom eh, boom eh, boom eh. so we've got a little bit of you know trade-off going on same thing as before and then halfway looks like it pans and the reason I think it looks like it pans is because this half gets louder and this half gets quieter so it means the left is going to get louder right let's try it out all right let's take it sorry let's take the drum section away so we can hear just the percussion S something definitely happened there but it wasn't a panning okay boom, 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 boom. Does it come back in here? Yeah, there we go. So that's what we're seeing. Those shifts. Huge drums. Yeah, that's massive. I could just have that on when I'm cooking, you know what I mean? Just like cook to the rhythm. <laughs> Bass, this bass. I wonder if it's synth bass or if it's guitar bass. Judging by the song being kind of like a bit, a bit of an electro pop, like a disco y feel, it's probably going to be like played bass. There you go. Hang on a minute. That is. It's a Donnie Benet song. It looks like him. yeah. It's, that's 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 um, Mr. Experience. It looks like apple pie. Hey, you know what? I'm pretty sure Donnie Benet played bass for Katy Perry when she came to Australia, so that would kind of make sense. But I mean, that's literally Mr. Experience. Um. The baseline for but go and have a look at this song "Mystery Experience" by Donny Benet, an Australian um, artist uh, who was under his real name a, a, a very well-renowned um, jazz bass player, uh, and I'm pretty sure he played for Katy Perry when she came to the country. Or was it was it Katy Perry? No, it was Pink. Never mind, it was Pink. Don't worry. That's still. It looks like apple pie. Mm. It is definitely that. Still sounds great. When you need the one who will deliver it, that's when you got to go. Mr. Experience, there is no question in the satisfaction with someone so confident. Mr. Experience, it is. <laughs> Holy shit. That's <laughs> just Mr. Experience. Donnie, you got some uh you got some talking to do to this woman. Um, because I think you deserve the cash, not her. Even though this was like several years before you did yours. <laughs> cool elements of like this sort of sound going on inside. Obviously, we completely ignored this session because I was singing Mr. Experience. Synth bass. Very cool. And then you can hear 
that kind of bit crush sound. Very cool. And again, it's sort of one of the things I like to do to bass. That's what I would like. But it's not my party. Let's hear it with a bit of stuff. Damn, that's huge. It's really cool. That's definitely <laughs> sounds like Mr. Experience. Uh, I can't get over that because I love Tony Bonet. Um, guitar. Yeah. Man, that's a very Louis Sheldon. It's very Nile. Very Motown. Very disco though. And it looks like very repetitive too. <laughs> I wonder if that's it through the whole track. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, we're not going to dwell on that because we can we can definitely see that that's a um that's going to be the same over and over again, which is totally great and totally fine. Strings. Let's check those out. Okay. Nothing too exciting going on there, but uh, Ambius filler. That's cool. I'm about that. Now, I wonder if that sort of pulsing there has been like side chained from the kick drum. Let's add the kick in when it comes in. Uh, uh. Yeah, it's probably been side chained from the kick drum. What that means is that when the kick goes, it will duck the audio, and it'll duck the other audio, so it can you know breathe a little bit. So you're not just going filling the audio up with more audio and getting clipping and horrible sounding. Creates a bit of breath and movement too. And this looks like a similar section to the start. Yeah, right. Moving along. And then a big hit here. Cool. Little pitch bend. Boo. Classic synth pitch bend. Now watch this. Okay. Alright, alright. Just skipping through. The charm on that one is wearing off on me. Uh, here we go. Okay, we're cool. See, patience pays off. Um, I mean, if I was more patient with that, I would have heard that properly in, in good time. Synth A. <laughs> I can get behind that. That's like a bit of an 8 bit sort of sound. A bit of detune style. Yeah. That's cool. The white noise there makes it, I think, the little. Very video gamey. And the next section looks quite a lot louder. Got another oscillator in there. Sounds like one of those, um, you know, I know what I want and I want it now. Look at that, <laughs> that sound, that key sound. Okay. And that's going to be very similar all the way through. Add a few things in, huh? Jeez, that's two elements there that just create a song, right? Yeah. 
Getting it? not even all the way there yet so we've got synth b all right and then a couple of other little nuggets i dig that that's real cool i like that i like that it's like just a classic sound what's going on Cool little bit of reverb. Everything's so clean too, you know. It's reasonably dry, right? See, as a um as somebody who surrounds himself with shit they never use, uh, I've got a lot of vintage gear, and, and, and one of the qualities of that is normally it already has, like, no top end. Um, and so it's funny, like that, and then you would do it, and it would be, like, too much. But so I always go looking for that for some reason, even though it's not a necessity. But hey, there's a reason things change and update, isn't there? Because I played a profit five a little while ago, and I was like, "What am I doing, wasting my time with all this shit when I've got to get a profit?" Profit six, profit five is the old one. Okay, and just to judge it book by its cover, I can see the rest of those ones are very similar. Mm -hmm. No surprise. <laughs> No surprises there. Now, effects. Now, what I'm going to tell you, because just from looking at pop stuff before and lots of it, these are going to be swells that transition sections. They've got to be, because look at them. They all look like little diamonds. They go like that. I bet. Yeah, alien sounds. They're, that's a... They're, Fucking Max Martin sound that he does for everybody. Or is it Dr. Luke? Either way, they both do this. They're... Great work. <laughs> More of this. Okay. Surprise! <laughs> More of those. I'm sure there are. Five more after this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we get it, we get it, we get it. That's great. Uh, and then there's effects two, which is second last track, track here. Let's hear it from the very start. Opening up the cutoff on frequency. Great, and then it goes into the track. Now, this is a whole section here. You can see every other instrument drops out, except for this and the vocals. And this is what it is. It's the, same, it's the mix filtered. French house style. It sounds crushed, though. It's like absolutely freaking out. It's all within the parameters of like a, you know, a decent sounding thing and like looking at least. But listen to how it just... Uh, and that's over a Snoop Dogg part, I think. Um, all right, and that's pretty much it. Let's let's p piece it together a little and hear uh, some parts before we go on to the vocals. Percussion, which is just gorgeous, crispy, nice, full, fresh. Sounds like snapping cabbages to when they break bones in movies. Bit of percussion in there, which sounds like this on its own. Thanks. to this section. 
party don't start till I walk in. Oh wait, that's not her either. <laughs> I mean like she's the one. Okay, we're going to move to those vocals right now. But first, you need to go over and do the subscription thing onto the YouTube machine. Um, that's how I get rich and famous. Uh, <laughs> that's funny because I like that's YouTube for crying out loud. It's never going to happen. Um, it's YouTube in 2022. That's never going to happen. Hey, uh, yeah, but go over there and click the button and go and have a look at the other videos there. Um, some very lovely people have been feeding me a few really, really cool things to look at. So Ariana Grande. Um, there's a couple of Britney ones there that have been really nice that have uh, been handballed over my way. Um, yeah, I'm trying to find some Lady Gaga. Mm, really big issue uh, that all the stuff I can find from Lady Gaga is either shit or rock band, which equals shit. Um, and I don't mean the music. I mean the files and the sessions. They're either filtered stems, which means someone's run them through a program and stripped them out from the original file. No good. Or they're rock band stems and... Eh, boring what what would you want a five minute episode because that's what you're going to get uh <laughs> hey maybe you do um and if you do let me know please drop comments down about this track about anything you know about katie perry if you've met her if you've seen her if you are her if you are snoop dog if you know snoop dog if you had any snoop dog experiences you ever smoked a blunt with snoop tell me about it i want to know anyway back to the vocals greetings loved ones let's take a journey i know a place where the grass is really greener warm wet and wild there must be something in the water did you say wet and wild like on the gold coast has she been up there i suppose sipping gin and juice well that's a snoop dog reference the palm tree. go and have a look at the uh gin and juice episode that we did on uh snoop uh, yeah just go and have a look at it he's yeah. undone yeah. the boat Break their necks, trying to creep a little sneak peek what? at what? us. What? You could travel the world, but nothing comes close to the golden coast. Once you party with us, you'll be falling in love. Oh, 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 oh. California girls were unforgettable. Daisy Dukes bikinis on top. Sun kiss skin so hot will melt your popsicle. Oh, 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 oh. California girls were undeniable. Fine, fresh, fierce, we got it on lock. West Coast represent. Now put your hands up. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Sex on the beach. We don't mind sending our stilettos. This is uh this is got a lot of compression going on. A lot of really lot a lot of really crushed stuff, a lot of effects. Um I mean obviously it worked really well cuz you got Max Martin and Dr. Luke on this one um who know what they're doing and Katie can write and can sing. We know that. And man everything Snoop touches turns to gold. So we we rocking this but this is definitely crispy. This is definitely very crispy. We freak in my Jeep. Snoop Doggy Dog on the stereo. Oh oh. Yeah, I heard that on the, I heard that on the O2, but I mean, it's fine. It's, it's the year 2000. We we cool guys. Dog on the stereo. Uh, yeah, definitely drops down to that note super fast. Uh oh. You could travel the world, you could travel the world. but nothing comes close to the golden coast. Like I said, the Gold Coast, Australia. Wet and wild down the Gold Coast, mate. You got to come and check it out today. Once you party with a You'll be falling in love oh, 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 oh. California girls were unforgettable California. Daisy Snoop. Dukes bikinis on top Sun kiss skin so hot Will melt your popsicle oh, 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 oh. Yeah right California girls were Snoop's in there too and he sounds really filtered, really EQ'd and really super compressed, which is great and it was also fine. Let me, I'm not shitting on the track, but it's just, it's in there and I can hear it. And this is, I, I, look, I'm going to put it all together for you for just one second, okay? Let's try not to get sued, but listen up. Sun skin so hot, will not get popsicle. So we're hearing this like totally mixed version of this track through these stems. These are stems. These are stereo mixes of all of these different 
elements, right? Um, normally to give to DJs to do remixes, yeah? So we're hearing this stuff and they've got full control over how these vocals are treated now because they always will sound like the album version because they are mixed to the standard that they wanted and it's... California. Everything is audible. Everything is legible. Everything sounds pleasing and crispy and nice and can be heard this well on any speaker that it goes through. Fine, fresh, fierce, we got it unlocked. That, um, that's a lot of delay though, but it's because it's in rhythm with the song. You never really notice how much there actually is until there's a break. West Coast represent. Now put your hands up. Tone, tan, fit and ready. Turn it up because it's getting heavy. Wild, wild, West Coast. These are the girls I love the most. I mean the ones. I mean like she's the one. Kiss her, touch her, squeeze her buns. The girls are freaks. She drive a Jeep and live on the beach. I'm okay. I won't play. I love the bait just like I love LA. Venice Beach and Palm Springs. Summertime is everything. Homeboys banging out. All that ass hanging out. Bikinis, zucchinis, martinis, no weenies. Just the king and the queenie. Katie, my lady. Yeah. Look at here, baby. Uh -huh. I'm all up on you because you represent in California. California girls, we're on. I'm all up on you because you represent in California. Hey, you know what? I just had a thing in my brain that I want to get, if anyone's got access to the to the multitracks for the menu log slash Just Eats theme song, M-E-N-U-L-O-G or the G-U-S-T-E-E-T. -E -E I want that. I want to do that one. That is going to be, I will die a happy man the very next day if I ever get that. I just want to hear it. <laughs> Daisy Dukes bikinis on top. Wow. Hey. Sun kiss skin so hot. We'll melt your popsicle. See, I don't doubt that um, Katy Perry has got the capability to harmonise this, but for some reason, because it's so tight, it sounds like they probably just ran a harmoniser through it and just pumped up a couple of, like, you know, a third and a fifth, and then or two thirds and left and right, and just dropped it in there. But again, Katy Perry's. A great singer. She's a really, really good singer. So as if they didn't take the time to do it. You know that the Dr. Luke and at, at um, Max Martin love a bit of vocal layering, and Katy Perry is quite capable of that. So, but it just sounds so perfect, like so on point that you know it could have easily just been a plug-in went boop 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 boop. Um, but then again, that technology, 2010. I mean, it's longer ago than I care to admit, but maybe maybe that tech wasn't there. Who knows? Just just. Speed of thought. Sorry, guys. I'll shut it. Come on, come on. California girls were undeniable. Fine, fresh, fierce. We got it on lock. West Coast, West Coast. West now put Coast. your hands up. Hey, hey. Ooh. California girls, man. Now, I feel like that's a um, California knows how to party, which I feel like would be a true ode to California uh, and an empire state of mind would be a response to that. But um, this sounds like a bit of an ode to that um, Park song. So. <laughs> I really wish you all could be California girls. <laughs> Man, Snoop, getting sneaky with that one. That's really, really cool. All right, let's put a few things together, and then uh, I'm going to go get something to eat. <laughs> All right, let's hear them drums again. Them drums. Those drums. The gentleman. Donny Benet bass. Mm, mm. Okay, bring me something. Those little sections there. Deniable, fine, fresh, fierce, we got it unlocked. Cool. Sex on the it's my own version. We don't mind standing, I still let go. See, this is why they have remix packs, so you can do stuff like that. In my Jeep. Snoop Doggy Dog on the stereo. See what I'm saying? You can do whatever you want with a remix pack. Uh, I'll move over to this bit. Tan, fit and ready. 
turn it up because it's getting heavy. Wild, wild West There's only Coast. two things happening right there, okay? There's literally just these two tracks. The effects track and the vocal track. Tone, tan, fit and ready. Whole song is in that one track. It's getting heavy. Wild, wild West Coast. These are the girls I love the most. I mean the ones. I mean like she's the one. That's what it is. That's what it is. Katy Perry and Snoop D-O-double-G. Yeah. Look at here, baby. baby. Uh-huh. Um, We got it. If you want to hear the rest of that song, go over to some official version of Katy Perry's thing that you can hear it on and uh, give her the views for that. So uh, thank you all very much for coming to check out California Girls. Uh, now, I don't think I've ever actually heard that in full until today and still haven't quite, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I definitely enjoyed it. Um, lots of really cool things in there. Uh, really good to see. I mean, even though it is stem stereo files of these things, it's really still good to hear the amount of production that goes through these things. I love this thing that happens, these swells that blend sections together. I really am really looking forward to using that in some of my own stuff. Um, and, and noticing things there that you don't necessarily hear unless they're isolated. Um, like, I'll just play this. I won't show you, but you can hear. That is so quiet, it's barely audible in this. I, actually, actually, I can't even hear it. Um, and those things there that are like attention to detail things that are going to be important down the road. And it is the little details that are important. You can be broad strokes like myself or you could pay attention to, to the detail <laughs> like actual people who really actually get things done. So thank you all very much for coming and checking this out. A bit parched, so I might go and grab myself a bit of water and um, you know say hi to my mates and then I'll probably GFY. You should do the same. Thank you all for coming to check it out. We'll talk to you later on. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank <music> you.